Right, welcome to section two. Here we're going to be doing rapid application building using Spring Boot. Uh, we're going to do this in conjunction with Tomcat 9 and the Spring Tool Suite installation. In video one, I'll be showing you how to install Tomcat 9 as well as the Spring Tool Suite is an, an IDE very similar to Eclipse, but it has some special features which allow us to do some rapid development for web applications, in particular quite sophisticated ones. So let's get started. Right, so go to your favorite search engine and what I would like you to do is I'd like you to search for Tomcat, Tomcat 9 download, so you can search for that. And let's go here, I'll just take it to a new tab. And what I'm doing is I'm looking for the, go for the download mirrors, but more importantly, I'm looking for the Windows installer. So if you look here, this is the important thing. So I'm looking for the Windows installer. It's much easier to handle it from there. So let's download that. Download it to a known folder location on your hard drive, wherever you wish to do that. I'm just going to go to D, my downloads. So I'll go to downloads. I'll go to Apache. And I'll put it in here, so I'll save it there. Okay, I've done that. Right, let's go and download the Spring Toolkit. So um, type in Spring, and that's where you want to be. Let's select that there. Here, yeah, and we can select this IDE. Take the 64-bit root. I'm going to save this to my downloads. New folder here. Right there, we've saved it. Right, I just want to check that the downloads are in the correct place and they have, in fact, downloaded. So let me go and just check this. Okay, I find Tomcat 9 there, which is promising. And there's my Spring Toolkit. Yeah, this looks pretty promising. So I think we can carry on from now. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install Tomcat. So I'm going to, we're going to install Tomcat first. Now, Find out where you've saved this. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to Apache Tomcat 9.34 and you're going to double click on it. Please remember that I've already installed this. I'm, I'm not going to install the whole thing. I'm just going to show you what to do and you can go ahead. Now, this little window will come up for you and you can go next and you can agree to the license. Here, just keep everything standard as you see here. You can put some examples in. It's actually quite nice to have examples. So you can put examples in. You can go to next. Now this is an important feature. Do yourself a favor here and put in a username, normally an administrator. So for example, um, I put in something like Greg and I put in a small password here because I don't want to lose this password. Otherwise I've got a problem. And the manager role here is manager stroke GUI, as you see it there, right? Now, in my case, this is the reason it comes up, because I've already installed it. So you go forward from here, and you carry on with the installation. Okay, so then you should be fine from there. I'm going to cancel out from here. Yes, I do want to cancel. Okay, then what we're then going to do is I'm going to go here, and what I'd like to do is I'd like to go and install this. So let's see if it will install by using a double click on this. Let me just open this. All right, so what it's done is it's unpacked the Spring Toolkit. Now it's going to be quite interesting because I would imagine it's using its own JDK. It'll be quite interesting to see what JDK this is. Remember, we're on JDK 13, so let's have a look. Right, so now what I want to do is I want to run Spring the tool suite.exe. Okay, so let's do that. Now, this looks quite familiar, wouldn't you think? Let's go and browse and for a decent place to put it in. Well, for me, I'm going to go to my D drive. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Spring Boot. And I think what I'll do is boot here. That looks fair. Maybe what I'll do is I'll go. Now, this looks quite familiar, I would think. 
you know, just uh, especially those of us who, or and you who've worked with Eclipse. In fact, it's it's based on the Eclipse framework. So we'll sort of take it from here, and here we end the, you know, we've accomplished what we needed to accomplish. But again, we need to still test whether your web server is running. Right, going back to your browser, let's just do this for me, please. So let's type in HTTP. We'll do localhost because the your Tomcat should be on there. Let's go. Now you must change this to 8080 and then you can press enter and you should see this page. So you should see this page. If you see this page, well, welcome to this world of servers this is an application server and we are ready to go so you should be a-okay 